In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a PayPal payment button that you can add to your website. So the first thing you need to do is head over to the PayPal website and you need to ensure that you have a business PayPal account. Now, if you don't already have a business PayPal account, then it's nice and simple to set up. And I do have a video on this in the description below. So once you're on the PayPal website, click on login in the top right hand side, and then you'll need to sign in with your business account. So once you're signed into your account, you just need to click on pay and get paid from the navigation. And and then from here, click on pay links and buttons. From the left hand side, select payment button and then expand the drop down for create a product or service. So now choose the type of product that you want to create. So if you have one product for a fixed price, then you'll choose this top option here. If you have multiple products all at different prices, then you may want to choose variable products. Or if you want to allow the customer to decide how much they want to pay, this is a great way to add a tipping feature on your website, then you can select customer defined. So I'll just be selecting single product or service and then you'll need to go ahead and give your product a name so i'm going to be calling this gray t-shirt now if you have a product id number you can enter this here or you can just leave it blank select the currency that you want to allow your customers to pay in for me that's going to be great british pounds and then select the price of your product you can decide whether you want to allow your customers to buy more than one item at once and then you can decide whether you want to collect your customer's delivery address if you're selling a physical product then you definitely want to keep this option checked then scroll down down and you have these three optional fields so you can decide whether you want to add a delivery fee for the purchase you can also choose to include a tax rate and finally you can add labels for customer notes then we're going to expand the customize your buttons drop down select the type of button that you want to add i'm going to keep this nice and simple and just choose a single button so now you can choose the size for your button i'm going to choose large and you can see a preview of this in the window over here so this is what it currently looks like so if we scroll back down now you can select the text that you want your button to say so by default it's going to say buy now or you can change it to pay now or you can even add your own text by selecting custom then just type in the text that you want so for example you could type in click here and that's going to go ahead and update on this preview page over here now you can also change the color of your button as well you can choose between paypal recommended white black or custom and then finally we're going to expand the thank you page drop down and after the customers completed their purchase you can basically decide to redirect them to a specific page on your website now by default this is set to no auto return but if you want your customer to return back to your website after they've completed the purchase then you can select custom url and just type in the url to your website so once you finish creating your button we're just going to click on create it from the top right hand side so now you can see down here this is what the button looks like and then here's all of the details about the button that we just created so in order to add this to your website you just need to scroll down and you can copy this html code here and then what you can do with this code is just paste it directly into the website where you want this place now another thing you can do that might be quite useful is clicking on this payment link option and instead of using the default PayPal button what you can do instead is create the button on your website and just link it to this link here and that way we can do all of the customization of our button on our website side and then we can just have it linked to this same PayPal product so it's as simple as that guys if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one